you need to create a few plots for the oscilloscope data. The first one you're going to do is it's going to be the oscilloscope frequency versus the HP for the dial, for the HP dial measurements. You're going to click right here on HP frequency and select down to this last value. And once those are both selected, you choose insert and chart. It's very important that you choose XY scatter and this is the default choice. That is what we want. XY scatter and choose next. There's a preview of the plot. Choose next. Scope frequency. Let's call this instead the dial um, calibration and the x-axis is the HP measured in Hertz and the y-axis is the real frequency or the scope measured in what? Hertz. And go next. This last step is very is very very important. A new sheet and we can call this dial calibration. And finish. There's our plot. Now we're not done yet. We just finished the first step. A couple more steps. One, this gray we cannot print. There's too much ink wastage. So double click on the plot and then choose area none. And then I always like to stretch out the plots. Now we want to add a text box. So we use this tool right here. If you don't see this toolbar, then you can go up to view toolbars drawing turn that on. And I'd like you to put a text box on here with your name so that when this is printed you can discover which one is yours. Next step go to chart add trend line and go to options and choose display equation and r squared value and there's the equation of the line. The real frequency should be equal to this multiplier times the HP dial setting plus this offset. That's the calibration equation. Now we need to make two more plots. Use the same steps that you used up here, but the next plot you're going to do is for the range buttons. So you're going to highlight from HP frequency down to here, go up to insert, choose chart, just go through the same steps. I won't show them to you again. But if you look at this data, you're going from 100 to 100,000. Now, what do you think that will look like on a scale? 100 to 100,000. How big of a tick mark will 100 be compared to 100,000? That's why we need to do the log. Now, you'll notice here that the log of F27 is 2. The log of 100 is 2 because log is base 10. 10 raised to the second power equals 100. So the question here is 10 raised to what gives you 99? Well, we can just cheat and copy this function straight over and then fill down. Now, I really don't believe that's exactly 2, so I'm going to highlight those cells and see more decimal places. If you take your calculator and take the number 10 and raise it to the 1.9956 power, you should get something close to 99. Now, notice what the log function did to the data it evenly distributed, distributed each data point compared to this. So make a plot for this data, call that the range button calibration, and then create a plot for this data, call that the log range button calibration. 